just finished an assessment with one of the students with the OT leading it and I observed it. This is week two for me, OT Life Hacker and Pediatrics Occupational Therapy. School setting right now. So one of the tasks was the evaluation tool of children's handwriting. So here we have the child writes their alphabets in lowercase, uppercase, so it teaches it tests their directions following, listening, attention, and ability to write their alphabets, and also to recall the alphabet. So if they can verbally say it, that's great, but they also, you wanna see if they can write it as well. So this is just an example of one of the students, and you can see for the lowercase letters, there's a mix as well as for the uppercase letters there's a mix and then we will score the number of times they mixed up uppercase and lowercase or had written the word incorrectly and then see how they sequence for their numbers which that was done perfectly and then you have the copying of what is given to them in a prompt so they read something and they copy it close to them, and then one was doing it done far away. And then you have dictation where you say a few numbers to them or, or words, and they have to write it. And then they get to write their own sentence that they think of. Also to note, there is another paper that's the score sheet, and you reference that. You are observing the students um, writing, their thinking process, all the nonverbal stuff, and you can take notes on the paper. And so this is just an example of all the different ways that you could hold their um, pencil. And there's many more. The student we observed holds it a little bit differently from what is shown here. And from there, you check their spelling, you check the capitalization, punctuations, grammar, how it's written, and again, I mean there are many skills you're being tested here on, and you can write in the comments below other skills. I'm just going to list a few. So again, following directions, your letter form formation, uh, your alphabet, and numbers, ability to hear, ability to respond to what you hear, and it also includes self-regulation because children can have difficulty staying, having the sustained, atten sustained attention and deviate, they might forget, short-term recall, is being challenged, and anything else you can think of, there are more values that for you guys to think of in the comments below. Write down what else this is testing. And again, this is OT Lifehacker. Please do like and subscribe to my channel if you find all of this is helpful in our channel. We talk about occupational therapy and snacks and food reviews and product reviews, all the things that OT Life, Her Life Hacker likes, and vlogs as well, and stuff to learn about the um, what we do in occupational therapy, especially right now as I'm in my field work, and this is my last level two field work and then soon will be graduation after i do my capstone and everything all right like and subscribe and share and comment below on any other skills that this um, evaluation tool of children's handwriting covers